Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today we've got a diagnosis to do. So you've got our, I just put together the diagnostic tool over here. And we are needing to diagnose this PJ over here. Hey guys, so I've got a portable light, that portable light there. I don't know if you can see it, but I've done an unboxing. You can look for the latest uh, portable light unboxing I've done. So in the PJ, Peugeot or Peugeot uh, 207. This is a 2011 Peugeot 20. Hey, what am I saying, guys? It's a Peugeot 2011 207. Uh, 207. And yeah, we're taking it out. So under the glove box here, you've got a compartment over there. Guys, I hope you can see. It seems like it's still a bit dark but we need to open it up like so and once you do you'll find that you will see the OBD2 scanner uh, or scanner or not scanner man but old port old ODB2 port that you can plug in the diagnostic tool so you saw it's under the uh, glove box there's a cover here that one over here then you can just open it and then boom 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 there you've got your uh, obd2 port over there so we've got the scanner over here already connected it there and we're gonna just hoi it in there you'll see the scanner comes it comes on and then i'm just gonna take the key and let's put it in there on the car to work out differences then in the switch of the radio okay guys i hope you can see what i see hopefully the light is not brightening too much uh maybe let me switch off this light so that you can see I don't know, it's not focusing properly. But okay, okay. So if we go into diagnosis, that's where it's at now. Diagnose. We're gonna click in there. It's gonna look for the language that is gonna use to enter the system, and it found one. So that's cool. Then we've got some uh guys. I hope you can see the Mail status. We've got uh, detection. It, it has. It's getting five errors in the ECU. Uh, readiness completed four. Readiness not completed two. Readiness not supported four. Data stream supported twenty one. So there is twenty one things that we can type on this car via this Kunway uh, KWH seventy uh, ignition. It's spark protocol can. So we can go into that. I went into read codes. Let's just go back. So we can read codes. We can erase codes. Uh, there's I am readiness data stream freeze frame O2 sensor test onboard monitoring eVep system. What else do we have? And vehicle information we can get. So let's read because if you see now the car is on. And as you can see, we've got a check engine light on the car. So that's what I want to see. Uh, we go in current DTCs. Let's go in it. And it's getting five. So we've got error number P2177. And it seems like it's relating to system two lean of idle bank one. And then it says here system to lean of idle bank one. That's the first error P2177. And then we've got a P1336. And it is the vehicle's code is identified by the manufacturer. Uh, please enter to select the manufacturer. So let's say enter. Let's go through here, see if we can get PJ. I don't see it yet. I see, see, Sean. Okay, there's the last one over there. 
uh, the full code is not found in the database, so it doesn't get the full code of P1336, but we've got a P0300 random or multiple cylinder misfire detected. We've got a P0139 O2 sensor circuit slow response bank 1 sensor 2 and P0121 we've got a throttle or pedal position sensor or switch A circuit range or performance okay and okay so those are the current um errors that we're getting from the car guys um the car drives just okay but you can feel on idle it 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 fluctuates a little but not too much just a tiny bit um so maybe it just needs a service i don't know but it feels like there's some sensors that might need replacing as well on this car but in terms of the you can see there's a service light on there so there is a service light and i think it's now 1800 out of service like it's been out of driving 1800 kilos after its due date of going to service so it is due for service and like idling stuff maybe it's just spark plugs that needs like the misfire detected maybe it just needs a service new spark plugs uh and then it should be cool so let's just go back pending dtcs let's see what's in there p2177 system to lean of idle bank one O2 sensor circuit slow response bank 1 sensor 2 P0139 and then a P2177 so those two are pending uh, permanent DTCs there is no <clears throat> and then we can record so there we go guys we've got our errors there so what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try erasing the these errors and then see if maybe it will pick them up newly um i don't know something like that <clears throat> because let's say the car will detect detect again if there is an error you know um clear or reset emissions related diagnostic information are you sure yes please turn ignition on with engine off press okay to continue i'm doing that okay so you see now we just got a green light so we've cleared those errors emission related diagnostic information has been cleared okay cool and let's go to read codes it says we don't have any codes we still have a check engine light over there so let's just maybe turn the car off And turn it back on check engine light is still on there I'm gonna put the car neutral switch it off again and then maybe start it this time yeah. All right and then the engine light is off as you can see there <clears throat> but i do expect for that engine light to come back on because there is something not right with the car especially with like the idling and stuff you know so i, I might expect it to come back on so i clear it now so that we can just see if um we get any new errors or some errors maybe move away um so yeah so i'm gonna switch off the car now it's off i'm gonna disconnect the diagnostic tool i'm gonna switch the car on We've got all of those lights on including the check engine light but after we start the car some lights should go off the checking light is off uh we're just getting the that 
the front door is open which is okay so let's just switch it off again put back the diagnostic tool diagnostic tool is starting up let's switch on the car and then let us diagnose the car again so now it says dtc is in the ecu uh, zero readiness completed three readiness not completed three readiness not supported four data stream supported 21 we went through all of those let's try and read codes if there's anything new it's still detecting nothing from the ecu but yeah that's for now but i'm pretty sure the the check engine light will come back on again um and yeah we'll see after that it will then that will tell me exactly then what is wrong with this car and then see if it's something that it, maybe that i might fix like maybe it's just changing spark plugs or something like that so i just wanted to make sure that the errors that i'm on that i'm seeing now on this car it's errors that are actually on the car not coming from other things that were maybe fixed and then but still showing here as an error so it should get the new errors i'm assuming it should get new errors uh when it detects them and then we will i will check then check them up again if it's still the same ones if not if there's new ones see what are the new ones and yeah take it from there but yeah guys that was us now diagnosing uh I forgot to close this guy over here there we go so that was us guys just diagnosing the 2011 Peugeot 207 it's called pop art it's a pop art edition and it's a 1.4 liter engine in here so there's a diagnostic guys again using the kunwe uh, kw870 i hope you're doing good i hope you uh I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great and going for those goals of yours, guys. Don't forget, keep it going, keep it moving. As for me, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.